Hi, this is Eli Manning. You're watching PressPassTV.com. Hello and welcome to PressPassTV.com. I'm Michael Arch. Just joined by Anish Sharaf, a PressPassTV.com reporter. We're hanging out here at the New York International Auto Show. And this segment is brought to you by BMW, which is the ultimate driving experience. They make some of the best automobiles in the world. You can find out more about BMW by logging on to their website at www.bmwusa.com. Now, Anish and I are going to walk around the New York Auto Show and find out some great things about some really exotic cars. We're we're going to check out some of the cars we've dreamed about since we were boys. Yeah, I'm at Ferrari. I'm, we're standing right in front of a Ferrari right now. So what's new with Ferrari? Well, the 599 GTB Fiorino is a replacement to the 575 Maranello serving as the company's only V12 two-seater coupe. It has a front-mounted engine that ponies up 600-plus horsepower to the back wheels. So gorgeous. Ferrari F430, the entry-level Ferrari quote-unquote, has been redone and the Spider or drop-top model can get you to 62 miles an hour in just 3.7 seconds. I think one of these would be great. 612 Scaglianetti offers four seats, is called a 2 plus 2. You can put two kids back there or two bags of groceries, whichever you prefer. These are the real Ferraris that people want. This is not. This Why is don't they want this one? Because it's like a, it's got two full seats in the back, and it's like a banker's hot rod. I'm That's a banker. That's sexy, though, and you have you got space. So you, you, you never one? know who you're going to bring to the party. That's right. That's right. You might need the extra seats. Look. That's right. <laughs> it boasts a huge V12 engine and is a scream to drive offered in automatic and manual. Lamborghini has a special edition Murcielago convertible. It's capable of doing 220 miles per hour and carries a base price of $380,000. And it has Lambo's calling card scissor doors. And just to get that whole ambiance, get in one of them and kind of take that experience and see what it's like to possibly maybe cruise through, not the George Washington Bridge, but maybe a much more open road. Aston Martin is promoting a three-car lineup, which includes three levels of the Vanquish and DB9. You know, just to say, shaken but not stirred, in an Aston Martin, that would be, uh, that would be my dream car right there. James Bond would be happy in any of them with their supple box-cut leather, although I prefer the ragtop Vanquish with its gorgeous looks and V12 engine. It's also got paddle gear shifters on the steering wheel, so you don't have to take your hands off the wheel to change gears. And of course, there's no clutch on the floor. It's all computerized and internal to the gearbox. Maserati has redone the popular Gran Turismo, or GT. The grille is now inverted for a more concave and masculine, muscular look to go with the beefed-up V8 engine that produces 405 horsepower to the back wheels. I'm 53. Yes, it's a nice car, but it's every old man trying to be young again. At the New York Auto Show, Bentley debuts and introduces us to the world premiere of the Brooklands, which is a pillarless coupe and a throwback to hot rods from the 40s like the Merc Cruiser. It's very big and almost as big as their sedans, yet it's sporty and luxurious. Corvette has the Z06, which they claim can rival any of these cars in performance and looks. And at only 70 grand, it's at least half the price of the next cheapest of the bunch. And it gets new brakes and a slightly beefier engine for 2007. I had a Corvette at 18, so I don't know. I don't need to relive my uh, youth. As for Porsche, well, the 911 is still around and hasn't changed all that much. But the new kid on the block is the Porsche Cayman. It's a coupe version of the Boxster with a bigger, better mid-engine setup. But I, think, I think it's a great car. Well yeah. balanced. Beautiful drive. Perfect for summertime. My favorite car of the show might just be the Mercedes CL Class. It's based on their flagship S Class sedan, but it's a coupe. This one is the CL63, and its body has been tweaked, the engine has been tuned, and it's been supercharged. It's also got a better suspension and bigger brakes. It's the perfect car for the distinguished gentleman, a cross between sheer racer and ultimate in luxury. Though I am picking up my uh, BMW 320i. 328i coupe in two weeks. I got to tell you something. These cars have amazing amenities that come in them, and the burl wood, when you see these details in person, the burl wood, the leather, how soft and supple is that leather? I mean, it's, it's leather that you only dream about, just the interior, the, the way it was designed, the setup from, you know, just the grip on the steering wheel. I mean, so much little stuff 
and when they so put much it thought. all together, it's just an unbelievable final product. And, so much uh, thought put into these vehicles. Oh, it's unreal. It, it really is. It's amazing. They are supercars, and they have super price tags. So unfortunately, we have to leave them behind. We're going to have to leave them behind, yeah. From what we saw, it looks like it's worth it. Definitely. All right. For Anish Sharav, I'm Michael Arches from the New York International Auto Show and for PressPassTV.com. So long. Be terrific.